Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a quick review of a color changing black lipstick. It is this guy right here. And before you get intimidated, I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. So it is not nearly as dramatic as it might seem in the tube. This is from the brand Givenchy. It's from their Rouge Vinyl Collection. I got this from Octoly. I've mentioned them a couple times here recently. And basically it's a website where you can go and apply to try products for free if the brand accepts you. They'll provide you the product to try and talk about about it in whatever way you want to in a video. I applied to try this specifically because first off, it's a pretty unique product. I think we're all relatively familiar with the color change concept, like that part is nothing new. Physicians Formula has or used to have a similar line. It Cosmetics has their Je ne sais quoi shade that does something similar, but I've never seen a black lipstick that then changes on your lips. And I also wanted to see if it's worth the hefty price tag. This Givenchy is a luxury brand, so it comes with that kind of price tag. And so I wanted to see if the uniqueness of this product was worth the price tag. So that's what this video is going to be all about. Before we get into it, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you can join the Bailey Bunch and never miss a video. Let's dive in. So like I said, retails for $34 comes in pretty luxe feeling and looking packaging. There's this acrylic square exterior, so it still fits in those lipstick holders, but inside you have the more traditional round bullet. You also have a little handle, handle here to pull it out from, and it does lock. So you can see it takes a little bit of pulling and then it snaps back into place so you can throw it in your purse and travel with it without worrying like this super expensive lipstick is going to get messed up in your purse should it fall open or something like that. So you pull it open and you have a tube that has one of the like a flat rounded oval cut up here. Obviously this appears black and promises to change on the lips. I don't think any other lipstick within the line has that property though. I think what you're getting with those is this kind of formula but the shade kind of as it, is, as it appears in the tube or online or where, wherever it is you're seeing it. So when I apply this, it glides on really smooth. It has a very thin balmy sort of finish and actually gives you that soft sheen. It's not ultra glossy, not super high shine, but definitely gives you that plumped balmy effect to your lips. Glides on very nicely, very easily, distributes color super e evenly. Even with a little bit of flakiness, my lips are kind of falling towards the dry side these days with allergies and taking decongestants and stuff. And so this was kind of put to the test in terms of how nourishing it was. So the good news is, like I said, applies evenly, even with some flakiness, the pigment didn't plump up in any one particular place. But I wouldn't say it's super hydrating. Like after applying it, I still felt a little bit of that uneven texture in my lips. And then when I applied it, my lips definitely didn't feel any more hydrated than when I had first applied it. Not like if I had applied Bite Beauty's Agave Lip Mask or some other kind of super hydrating or moisturizing lip treatment. That said, I was pretty impressed with how this adapted to my skin. So I first applied it and I had to do a double take in the mirror because at first the black tint seemed to linger. And not that I mind that, I'm all about a little bit of drama, but slowly but surely it started to assume this kind of berry tint on my lips, closer to how you see it is here. I did apply it just before this video so it is probably a little bit deeper than what it ultimately develops into on my lips but overall I really liked how it had that berry tint but it's almost like the black was taking it down a notch with so many color changing lipsticks I find and I know a lot of people in my family find that they they're supposed to flatter your lips according to your pH but they end up just turning this shade of bright pink that does nothing for them so I think that even if this does do that to your lips where it turns it that shade of pink having that slight tint of black pigment in there just takes it down a notch and makes it a little bit more of a wearable shade but interestingly enough i took this to my mom's house because i wanted to see what it looked like on different skin tones she's a little bit of a deeper skin tone with more olive undertones whereas i am lighter or fairer and more neutral and so this red kind of like a peach on her in the same way as it did on me it kind of maintained that black like a slight just deeper hint of that black sheerness over over top but underneath it turned more of a peach on her super flattering she's a huge fan of peaches whereas it goes a little bit more berry on me and I find that berries flatter my skin tone so and I've never seen that with any other color changing lip product so I'm not sure if it is innate to the formula or if it's that sheer black finish that comes in this tube that gives it that effect either way I think this product really innovates in that way because I've just never seen another color changing lipstick that does something like that so all in all I have kind of mixed feelings here. On the one hand, I don't think 
think the formula was anything spectacular, especially for the price tag. If you were to ask me, would I buy other shade ranges in this formula, knowing that they don't have this special color change technology, I'd say no. Like I said, I, it didn't moisturize my lips as much as I think they needed, and knowing that I have some other formulas out there that do, um, even not necessarily drugstore, but like the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche are super pigmented and they moisturize my lips to no end. I'd probably choose those over this if you have drier lips. On the other hand, if you don't tend to struggle with dry lips and you really just want a beautiful light sheen with a nice tint and you're very into that color change idea, especially one that is a little bit more wearable because of the sheer black tint that kind of grounds the color in here, I would definitely say check this out. Despite the steep price tag, I think, I mean, like I said, this is the only other product like this I have seen where it does the color change thing but also has that sheer black tint. So kind of mixed thoughts here, but hopefully this review helped you learn more about it, decide if it was something for you. I'd love to hear if you tried it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. If you're interested in trying it, let me know if this helped you out. Hopefully it did. Let me know in the comments below. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.